Welcome back to my channel, everybody. This is The Busy Simmer, and you are watching the very first ever episode of my Legacy Challenge. Now today, um, if you watch my four episodes of the Teen Runaway Challenge, um, we were able to um, have Rosalind run away, um, gather up enough and make enough money to build a small shelter, and then she aged up to a young adult shortly after receiving an A in high school. Um, so I just re-used um, her. I didn't use the same sim, but she's in the same world, so there may be another Rosalind running around. However, um, I downloaded her again and um, adjusted some of her traits. So as you can see, we have a 50 by 50 lot as per the rules state. It's empty except for this mailbox. And then um, in my last Runaway Teen Challenge, I was mentioning how it's kind of silly that they're having us buy stuff to get our money down to 1800 However, um, after reading more of the comments, it, I understood it was um, part of the challenge was to make the bills higher when they come in. Um, and so buying this Knight of the Octagon table suit of armor um, kind of um, makes the bills go up a little bit. So that's how I understand it. And we are left with $1,800, which is vastly less than what we had when we built our... Um, built our shelter in the Runaway Teen Challenge. So anyway, uh, Roslyn is here. We need to get her uh, some things going. Um, now, <laughs> um, I watched a few videos recently of people doing this challenge, and um, a lot of them weren't sure if they, if the Sims could get jobs. Um, I don't see any rules stating otherwise. I do see rules stating no money cheats, no no cheats of any kind that will get you ahead in the game, so I, that's pretty obvious. Um, so we will avoid those. Oops. I want comfort. Gonna go with the kitty bed again. Um, so I did want to get Roslyn a job, since she's a young adult now. Um, so we have $600 left. I feel like a toilet is important. Um, 50, 2.50. So let's just get her this bush because that's a lot cheaper. We do need a shower. Oh gosh, <clears throat> this is getting expensive. Um, I don't know if there are any... What am I doing? Appliances. I don't know if there are any parks close by. 235. You know what, though? We could just use the fridge for now, because that has some snacks in there. So, we'll just do that. And, oops. We don't want to keep that. Uh, can we still get a shower? Yes, we can. <laughs> this is the most awkward ever. Um, oh gosh, can we get... Oh, we need a door. <laughs> Maybe we can just... Um... Oh gosh, this is terrible. No. Oh. <laughs> cool. Uh, let's just get rid of a piece of this wall here for now. And then put a roof over her head. Okay, so we have this tiny little studio. It's not even painted. There is a roof. Um, we got her a bush to pee in, a kitty bed, a used refrigerator, and a really cheap shower. And that should be what we need for now. So I'm going to have her eat um, and probably go fishing to 
sell some of those so we can get some money, I think. Um, and since she's a new version of Ros Roslyn, she has no skills. Um, she does have a new aspiration here, and I wasn't clear on, on the rules for those. There was something about n nothing, uh, you can't have any reward traits that uh, get you ahead. So I'm assuming like the athletic reward trait gets you a longer life, so you probably can't do that one. Um, that kind of stuff. So she's already become an adult. <laughs> she's, she bought a kid bed, so, uh, she's already spent 240 bucks on, uh, on some kid stuff. Go Rosalind. So, and then the other thing was that we could not use any established families. Um, so I'm not going to do that, but I am going to use a man um, I created named Mark that I moved into one of the other houses. Um, oh, look, there's a food stall. Yay. Oh, well, a drink stall. Um, but anyway, I would like her to get with him. So that's where we're at with that. Um, he, I can't remember which house he lives in, but it's, it's nearby-ish. Good. We have lots of stuff here growing so we can harvest all that when they're ready and start planting and selling those, um, fruits and vegetables, uh, just like we did in the Runaway Teen Challenge. So, yeah. This is good times. And then once she's more stable and is able to um, get on a routine schedule, I am going to have her get a job. But right now we're just trying to get enough money to pay the bills. Sadnum Fossilized Sea Monster. Ooh, that's a rare one. Nice. And then we'll have her fish a little bit. She does need to sleep. Oh, it's talk like a pirate day. Alright, I am gonna open everything up and extract everything this time around. Um, just because I want to fill in her collection. Her household collection thing there. So, let's go ahead and sell these. I don't know how much the bills are going to be, but I have a feeling that night is going to bring in the, uh, bring on the bills, so. Oh, she already got, uh, wow. A tuna. For 85 bucks. Go Roslyn. This is just a beautiful view with the boats. Alright, so how are her needs? She just needs to sleep. Probably have her take a nap or something. Alright, and she got a Dr. F. Basil. I think there's an. Oh, there's one thing. Strawberries. I love growing strawberries. They're so difficult to grow in real life unless you live in the just the right climate, which I never have. <laughs> I mean, you can grow them here in Colorado. It's just not easy. It's kind of like trying to grow avocados. Oh, we didn't get a trash can. Crap. I probably could. I probably could get her a sink, but I don't want to waste the money yet. So we'll just <laughs> we'll just gather dirty plates for a while. Oh, she can nap in the bush, too? I didn't know that. By the way, anybody can walk into this place, because there's no door. We could probably get her a door now, though. What is this? Critunium? Uncommon. 75 bucks. We'll just let her live like this for a while. Sleep, dear Rosalind, next to the stinky bush. Now she's hungry. Have a quick meal. Let's do a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Let's see if there's anything else to collect here. This place is not open. Apparently it's a really hot day. Okay, you can get up now, honey. She's really hot. Um, I think 
I think I'm going to close this off, get her a door and a thermostat. And let's see, 50, 50. We already used um, one of these two doors in the last challenge. I mean, glass doors can be fun, but maybe not on the outside of a house. Let's use brown. Oh, and a thermostat. She doesn't have an oven yet, so we don't need to get her. And can we afford a dumpster. I suppose we should get a toilet first. We can get her a toilet. Good. Now let's see if we can afford a dumpster. And we can't yet. It's 265 bucks. Okay. Time to do more fishing, honey. Let's go fishing over here. Maybe there'll be different fish. That's also pretty with the ducks over there, swans or whatever they are. And she's not a loner this time, which is unfortunate because she was so happy being antisocial. So maybe we'll have her go fit, um... <laughs> Go visit Mark. He's only worth 20, boo. Um, I can use that. And then let's go ahead and travel. She needs to talk to somebody. Let's go here. I gave them the same last name because I forgot Rosalind in my novel. Her last name was something different. And then to hide from her stepfather, she uses Mark's last name, which is Tucker. So I just kind of gave them the same last name. <laughs> in the game, anyway. Start a new career. Yes, we will do that someday. Oh, look at look at him. He is going to be a police officer once we move in together. Ahoy, me matey. Yeah, work it out, man. Work it out. Ah, oh, dag dag. Freeba from almost. Ask Air the Wind Bells. Career, he's unemployed right now, but I'm gonna ask him. Oh, Kiba, Zuba Tube, Lava Zubi. Get to know. Huh. Alright, he's all about those push-ups, isn't he? Fire up. Quicks. Narfa Burl. Dernoy! He is also for a family oriented, I forgot. Oh. Yes. <laughs> Yips. Spin, eh? Shub u de jiffy flee, bazat a be bleef to my. Ho ho, hopey robo! Smartis. Turub quink, kuzip, flevar. Oh, naba quink. Simba capool. Pene benai. Olakum a fej. Yimple. I'll just let him talk for a while. <laughs> Let's ask Paguna de Roy. If the boy can Kubu Koiba? Yes, he is. I already knew that, but she didn't. Compliment mighty fine garb. Do that. Because <laughs> he's barely wearing it. Okay, let's stay family friendly here. Lisa Yibs or Yumba Jabe. Uh huh. Oh, Mobsy. Oh, duh. Duh. Z plume. Oh, Xy. Most about family. Oh, Darg be swing. Tarba Swevo. Darg. Let's see if he'll let us cook him something. Uh -huh. Let's mm, let's do a salad since we're both active people. Even though the most active people I know are all into protein and I mean they eat healthy, but they like to make sure they get their protein and their carbs and stuff. Uh oh, sorry. He didn't like that. Sorry. Can she apologize? Oh. Joke about politicians. Bon and Gravy? Yibs. Oh, Yibs. Who's Schwabby? 
Oh, Choba Quimsba. Beba's a boy. Ah, Utuni grow his. Plevar Samzo Dafuni. Mumph. <laughs> Ahoy! Parig Arga Diploni! Erg! Black of Voo! Yargi! Eba the Shell! Arg! Okay, I'm gonna send her home because she's getting hungry and stinky. Okay, so she's getting hungry. Eventually we'll be able to get her a countertop so she can actually cook. Let's see if there's anything else to gather around here. Doesn't seem like any of the plants are quite ready to be harvested. Okay, so there's not much here to gather. Um, I'll have her shower and <sighs> contemplate the waves. Um, and then I'll have her fish a little bit. So yeah, that was Mark. Um, I'm pretty sure he's good. Athletic. Yeah, so that's the third uh, unknown trait there is, is the good trait. He's also active and family oriented, so they're pretty compatible. So I'll just have her call him up whenever she's feeling lonely. Okay, she's getting tired. So I think after she levels up her fishing skill, we'll take her to bed. There we go. <laughs> We're just getting a collection of plates over here. Kissing Grani? I don't even know how to pronounce that, but that's how I say it in my head. So, And she'll be hungry when she wakes up. Have a quick meal. Let's do peanut butter jelly sandwich. I mean, we're allowed to talk to adults now, so. And nobody likes fruitcake. Why did you bring that? Chori Varpasa. <laughs> so all. Oh, well, look. Another gem. So all. Funiata. John. Yafana. Steve. Miko. Cababin. So I'll talk. And I'll keep looking for stuff to dig up. Right, so we've got a few things we can plant now in her inventory. And we've got two frogs, which we can breed. Got a leopard frog and an eggplant whirl frog. They're both worth a hundred. Um, so let's get rid of this ten dollar one. We will plant two of each. And open. And open. Oops. Nope. Don't want to get rid of that. Extract. Alrighty. Let's get rid of these. Get some money, money. I'm keeping the upgrade parts that she gets because um, with such cheap furniture, they're bound to break down at some point. So, and I think she can get some fishing done before she goes to bed. One fossilized sim hand. Oh, geez, that's morbid. <laughs> Fertilize bush. We can do that. Tetra worth fifteen. That's better than nothing. Thirty-two. All right, let's go ahead and take her home. She's getting really tired. Um, and before she goes to bed, we are gonna chat with Mark and also eat something. Oh, is it cold now? Oh, I guess it is fall. We can turn this off. Ah, uh, she's too tired. I want to take her out with him, but she is really tired. All right, so we'll eat and take a shower, and then we'll be back to gathering. There's a lot of stuff just around this lot, which is really good. Oh, and this, is that a pear tree? Oh no, it's an apple tree. Some of these are pear trees and can harvest those today, probably. See? There's a pear tree. She can dig here, harvest those, harvest those, dig there. She's actually having fun gathering stuff, so. Sorry, rich folks, we're gonna harvest all of your plants around your house. 
I don't know what kind of bills to expect with that knight suit of armor in my uh, inventory, so I'm, I think I'm gonna try to hold off on buying anything else until I know what the bills look like. And we have to move Mark in with us um, once we get him interested in us, because otherwise, if we move in with him, I think that's cheating. Oh, our bills are only 412. That's not bad. And also, he can't have any money when he comes in with us. So let's see what we can sell here. We want to plant these apples and then sell the rest. We have a lot of frogs. I'm going to plant the pears. We already have onions and yeah, we already have basil as well. So even after paying our bills, we still have almost $800. And that's before we sell any of these new things we got. Ooh, 225. We might be able to expand a little bit our house. But I think that's where I'm going to leave this episode. Not a whole lot happened, but we did get started. Um, so she's got $1,300 in the bank now. Um, we almost have as much as what we started with. Um, so maybe next time we'll do some renovating. We'll get a little bit more of uh, Mark's attention and interest. Um, and we'll just start working him. So uh, thank you so much for watching, you guys. Um, we'll talk a little bit more about the rules of the family legacy next time. Uh, we weren't even close to doing that, uh, starting a family this time. So <laughs> next time we'll talk about those. Um, and as usual, if you like the video, go ahead and hit that thumbs up. If you like my channel, subscribe. And if you want to know when new videos come out, hit the notification bell. Um, Otherwise, um, have a wonderful day wherever you are, and happy swimming!